Hello, I'm Nathan Perez, and welcome to my show with uh, my lovely co-host, Rosie Nolan. Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I mean, how was your homecoming weekend, Rosie? Oh, it was so fun. I had a total blast. I really liked um, the pep rally. That's, like, always one of my favorite parts. Always? I love the performances that we have. Yeah, like Palms and Cheerleading. Palms and Cheerleading. I adore them. All those girls are so flexible, and they, like, <laughs> do the coolest tricks. Are you getting a little jealous, Rosie? Yes, I am jealous. I think it's so cool what they can do. Like, I wish that I was able to. You, you want to do, do a backflip? Back yeah, I want to do a backflip. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll do a backflip. I'll do a backflip for you and only you, Nathan. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I'm special. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, it was um, it was really nice to have it in the main gym too. Yeah, we got to see everyone. Well, almost everyone. I bet you some kids were absent. Yeah, obviously. But I liked our shortened day. I liked seeing everyone there. Yeah. Palms. I like it when they drive around their little go-kart. Yeah, and little Mr. Fields in the little cart bringing <laughs> yeah. in the homecoming court. It was fun. Oh, and we had Josh come back. Oh, yeah. Josh yeah, came back Josh. to crown the, uh, crown the king, king and the queen. Yeah, that was really cool. I yeah. thought that was that was awesome. I didn't know he was still around, like living around here. I guess so. Um, what else? We ha Oh, we have our fun little games. Oh, yeah. That was, it was I, cute. I did miss the t-shirt one, though. Yeah, I don't know. I'm the, with the ice, right? Yeah, where, like, they're frozen t-shirts. They want Yeah, them. Colin did that last year. Remember? That yeah. was, oh, that was so funny. He, last year, he, he came in after school to RBTV, and he was still trying to get it on Of course stuff. he was. <laughs> he was determined. Of course he was. I would have just put it under hot water. Right? Like that's how you do <laughs> that's it. How, that is how you cheat. Yeah, exactly. I would have like brought a hot water bottle with me and been like... Oh. <laughs> yeah. A little shaky. Yeah. And, oh, oops. Nobody would even notice. <laughs> Just um, in the field. But what were the games this year? We had an egg run. Yeah, there, I think there was something with balloons too. Balloons. Right? Like and what, to... was it um, relay race? Yes. I mean, there's always relay. I can't believe Patrick Micah took his sock or took his shoes off. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> funny. So our king and queen were uh, Dan, Waz, and Celine, right? Yes. What's Celine's last name? Anaya. Anaya. Okay, yeah, they seem so sweet. It was so they fun. Were. They're it was nice. So cute. They're really nice. You, I had Celine as a volleyball manager, and I was on the volleyball team with Daniel. They're really nice. Yeah. All right. So, well, we'll be back with our little talk about the stadium and the homecoming game. So. See you in a bit. Hi, welcome back. So we're going to be discussing the homecoming game and the new stadium. Um, did you go to the homecoming game? The homecoming game, I couldn't go. I was so disappointed. That's awful. Oh my god. Yeah, I had to be at so Boris's. Fun. I was making nice clothes. Oh well, you know. I mean, I guess that's worth it. <laughs> but I had a blast. I was sitting up did in you the go stadium. With Mia? I went with Mia, and um, I went with. Ava, Emma, um, oh, so I like saw Lissandra and Marley there. Yeah, Maddie and Casey were there. You know, it was it was just a blast. There were so many people I know. So a never-ending list. Oh, of course. Like the never-ending story. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the actual game. Yeah, Let's the actual back. game. It was fun, but both unfortunately both teams lost in the new <laughs> stadium too. It was such a bummer. I mean, they played well. They did they a really did, nice job. They, didn't just, they just didn't win. They just couldn't pull through. It was too bad. Yeah. But you know, I mean, there's still plenty more games that they'll play in the stadium, so. Very true. I hear they have an actual concession stand now. They do. There's Okay, so the new stadium is really nice. It looks pretty much the same as the old stadium, mm -hmm. but um, it's much sturdier, I think. And I haven't seen the locker rooms yet, but I'm sure they're nice. And um, so basically, there's an actual concession stand. Oh. There's public bathrooms, oh, so like anybody like can nice go. To, bathrooms? Yeah, They're exactly. Not like it was, exactly, and uh, so there were, yeah, there were nice bathrooms. Uh, they had like this little popcorn machine. It was real cute. Um, Someone looks their popcorn. Yeah. Oh my god, I bought popcorn. Do you want it was really story? good. Mm -hmm. I bought like twenty dollars worth of popcorn I, when I went with him once, and <laughs> I think he passed some of them out, and then he we, he made Paul and I eat the rest. That's like 10 buckets of popcorn. It was huge. That's the, insane. The kids didn't believe him that he was going to buy $10, $20 worth of popcorn, so we had to walk all the way down to the little corner and like get Mr. Monty to make them. And we, there, we caused the whole line because we ordered so much popcorn. Yeah. And Ben just gave him a $20 bill. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, um, the only thing that I would say is kind of a downside to the new stadium is there were like, it seemed like there were less seats. Oh yeah, I've heard And that. I feel like that's not necessary, like, 
I don't know if that's necessarily true because there were definitely a ton of people who showed up. Right. So like that was probably part of it. And I'm oh, sure and probably the band took up a lot. Yeah, the band always takes up. Well, actually the band wasn't even in the um But don't they come after the halftime half show? Yeah, they do come after the halftime show, but not everybody has to stay. That's true. Um cuz I know Mia's in band and she uh was oh, you got to watch her play or like, Yeah. Was it? She plays, she the, plays flute. the no, oh, no flute. <laughs> Wait, she's percussion. She's My percussion. God. She plays the snare drum. It was nice. I'm yeah. Of Gemma. The band did a really nice job. And so did obviously Palms and Cheerleaders and cuz they always do. The halftime show is great. I enjoy watching the twirl team. Oh, the twirlers are awesome. I, I have a bunch I, of friends I feel like that. they're very synchronized and very put together. Mhm. Mm it's, it's a nice thing to watch them. They did a really I nice job with the game. I have a lot of friends there too. Um, who else? We have we had band, we had twirl. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll be right back um, after this segment. And uh, we're going to talk about <laughs> the homecoming dance, the actual dance oh itself. <laughs> it's okay, Rosie, we forgive you. Okay. Welcome back to the moment you've all been waiting for. We're going to talk about the actual dance itself. Ooh. So you were there. I saw I you, there. right? No, you saw my ghost, Rosie. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I was there with um, my girlfriend, Mia, who we have referenced yeah. before. Yeah, we, we should probably tell everyone who that is, right? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, who were you with? Who did you go with? I went with me, myself, and I, and then <laughs> Jake. Oh, wait, no, I, I lied. I went with Jacob Dracino, and then I had to bring my brother. I had to bring Jacob Dracino and my brother. Who's your brother? Jacob Perez. It's really funny. Oh, so two Jacobs and an Ethan. That's true. Sounds and then like a TV we brought show. my brother's friend, but I don't know his name. So, um, I mean like we got to be honest here, the music was not great. It wasn't just like that though. It was also they played some of the same songs. They played the same song a couple times. They but did. you know, I mean like I can get over that. That's not the fun part, you know, like the whole dancing part is fun. And I think that everybody was like it wasn't as much of like a rave as it was in previous years. <laughs> you mean years. like an actual party? Like it was like people were it was standing more, for long. Yeah, people weren't just like on top of each other the whole time like they <laughs> have been in previous years, which is ridiculous. It's true. Um, they did play some okay songs though. They did. It sounds like a lot of the stuff that I hear on the radio, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, I just know a lot of people in Spanish class were disappointed. Were that they there really? Was no why? Spanish music. Well. Do you really think they were going to play any Spanish They music? actually do. Sometimes? In years past. Really? Every other year, they played at least like one or two songs. I've never That's noticed nice. that before. Maybe they got a different DJ this year. I think so. I wouldn't be surprised. That's probably why they forgot about the other songs that they had already played. Yeah. And there were a lot of people doing like, you know, those dance moves that like oh, everybody like is the so funny. And, and the nay nay. And what else? What am I missing? The web. You were so embarrassing, Nathan. No, but what was yeah, I, I mean, embarrassing? A lot of people were being like, Kind of ridiculous anything. on the dance floor, Nathan. What are you talking about? How is I ridiculous? You just always are. How am I ridiculous? You're always I can't like dance. dancing or exactly, because you can't dance. <laughs> it's bad. It's true. But um, they also like, they always run out of snacks, and this year they didn't run out of snacks as fast. No, they didn't. There were like. And there was lemonade throughout the whole night. Yeah, there was lemonade the whole time. That's never happened before. It's always just been water. <laughs> Cold it was really nice. It was nice. That's something that we should not take for granted, I think. Because no, <laughs> well, that's I, never gonna happen again. Well, we had to give up the good music for the good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Which one uh, would you prefer, though? Like music or I food? Mean, if I'm dancing the whole time, I don't even pay attention to the food. Exactly. Like, I was only in the snack room for like five minutes and I got like two Oreos. <laughs> I kept going back for lemonade, like when they'd replay a, a song. Oh, really? because I got thirsty. And then I met a very nice dancer girl whose name still escapes me. And for some odd reason, I call her Isabel. Oh, she well maybe nice, her name is Isabel. But she didn't like to dance. Oh, that's too bad. She doesn't, she, she can't dance. <laughs> that's too bad. <laughs> Amanda was trying to help her dance and I, I, well, we couldn't really help her. It was kind of sad. So but sad. she was nice. I All right, guess. well, we'll be right back with our uh, next segment where we bring um, a guest in, a special guest. So stay tuned. Oh, well, everyone, welcome back to our lovely show. Someone had to make a change because they didn't want the same outfit 
for Ben. I think she has a crush on him. Uh, okay, maybe a little. Our guest is uh, Ben Gambara. He is a student at RBHS, and he went to most of the events that we've been talking about today. That is true. So far, is that, that, that's at least what you told me, Ben. That is, this, I, this is true. Yeah, is that true? I am not a liar. There's two things I can't <laughs> do, and both are lie. The thing, okay, well, so so, what do you, what do you want to know? Um, I'm, I'm an expert here. I mean, how'd you feel about the pep rally? The pep rally, it was, it was pretty good, you know. I've been to four of them now, so far. They've all gotten pretty good. There was no talent show this year. So there was no like fiddle player or wait that that was this pep rally right yeah that, they always yeah. Out, I they. knew it was missing yeah. I just could I'm like wow Ben you said you've been to four pep rallies I so have, far so far do you think that you're about to get held back I mean <laughs> oh. I can't see the future that'd be something really cool but a um. I'm hoping no, but it's always a possibility. I'm I'm a I'm a really open guy. I, Are you gonna come I, back as an alum? I I accept change, and I might I might pull something. You know, yeah. you know, might be something in the future. All right. Might be future. Good to know, cause maybe I'll see you here Wait. next year. Yeah. So what was your favorite pep rally? Then? My favorite pep rally? Well, this one I had the most memories from because mostly two things. There was one time when they were doing that egg thing, when they had the things on the spoon, the eggs on the spoons, and they so were they like can't running. can't drop the eggs. Yeah, and then and then the seniors won. Good old Richie Urbanski won it for us, but he decided he's gonna throw the egg into the into the crowd, and that that was that was interesting. Mostly oh, because yeah. it hit me in the eye, I and remember. that was. Wait, was it a real egg or was it like a rubber egg? I think I don't know. I Did it break on your face? It wasn't a real egg. <laughs> okay. It was painful. It wasn't real though. So that, that hit me in the eye. We would have Which seen eye? It. Left eye. You wear glasses. I, I was, I was, I'm very lucky. So you got lucky. I'm very lucky. I'm That's very lucky for my, my scratched corneas. My, <laughs> I don't know what my eyes do. The point is, it was painful and I did not enjoy it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. How did you feel about palms, Ben? The palms? The palms. That's the palms the, and the cheerleaders. That's the next thing I was going to mention because during the palms and cheerleaders and dance, there was someone around me who kept playing the Seinfeld theme song on their phone. <laughs> oh my god. And it was really loud, but no one heard it except for like me and three other people. Ben, are you sure that wasn't you? I'm sure. I, I would I if I I would know if I was playing was it the Paul? song. Because that it definitely Paul? sounds like something you do. It does, but it was <laughs> not me. I'm not that big fan of Seinfeld. But you know, I mean it was it was memorable. So that's why I think this is gonna be the this is gonna be the one. So did you go to the homecoming game? I did. What'd you think about that in the new stadium? Uh, the new stadium, it's very chrome, you know, it's like... <laughs> it's true, yeah. Like, 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 it's okay. very new, it's shiny. It, it is new. There's The last one was uh, very gray, and this one is shiny gray. Oh. So that's uh, that's that. The, the I always go to the game for the band, because all my friends are in the band. Shout out to the band. Um, and usually, let, let, me, let, me, let me do a little something with my hands here. So here comes the band in the old stadium, right? Here comes the band. And then here's where I would stand with my friends as we wait for our friends in the band. We'd, we'd be here and this would be the band. We'd be really close. In the new stadium, here comes the band and here's a fence way over here. Oh. And there's this, there's this gap between us. And so there's, there's a no man's land between us and the band. Is that sad for you? It is sad. Are you mad that you can't hug your friends? Uh, yeah, I, I am. It was, it, was, it was too bad. But you know, the new stadium, it's nice. They got a... Uh, they connected the food store and the and the, the stands. Yeah, we were talking about how it's not a shack anymore. Yeah, it is not a shack. A... It wasn't even a shack. It was two tables put together like like they were yeah. a corner. Yeah, like that, like that. It's a bungalow. I, I remember like. when a you bungalow? Ordered, bungalow? Do you remember when you ordered twenty dollars worth of popcorn? Yeah, that was weird. Um, oh yeah, this is the Ben who ordered twenty dollars worth of popcorn. I'm the Ben. Uh, yeah, I, I ordered that from Mr. Mani, and then I we ate like three bags, and then we had. <laughs> And we had seven left over, so we just gave them out to the band. I'm pretty sure Mr. Money doesn't remember because I'm in his zoology now and he hasn't brought it up yet. So. Do you think he would bring it up? I think he would. I think it's. One day when he realized it's the same person. We, yeah. We held up like 40 people trying to buy popcorn. Oh, <laughs> so it was a really. Just like, there was a, it wasn't a line, it was a pit of people. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, well, did you go to the uh, dance? I did go to the dance. I, uh, well, th this, this requires some explanation. In the mornings, whenever I get to school, I always get about a half hour early. So me and me and my friends, we usually just kind of walk in circles like nomads because we have nowhere to sit. And you know, walking's interesting because you get to see things. 
So me and some of the friends that walk around, we reverted to our natural state of walking in circles. Okay. So gotcha. we, we went through the hallway and then turned to right and then through the <laughs> gym and then listened to like 30 seconds of music and then walked out again and then did that. We walked what? about three miles, I think. Three miles. That sounds great. Yeah, it was, so that was good. Well, thanks for thanks being for here, Ben. Yeah, yeah, of course, my pleasure. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll see, uh, we'll see you next time, and maybe Ben will come back. I don't know. Yeah, Probably we'll not. I mean, we could, we could invite you back if we want to. Yeah, you're all right. Do you want to come back? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see what happens. See you guys later.